Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you to, uh, from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. I will be putting this in uh, the SIE playlist, the 6 playlist, uh, the 7 playlist, because uh, this is testable uh, on all those exams. Best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. Uh, with my Guru uh, 15 discount code at uh, checkout. Yeah, depending on your exam, can be anywhere from 40 to $60 for that uh, paid supplement. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content like this. All right, let's look at this uh, request here from a uh, test taker. Your customer wishes to purchase 500 shares of the Class A shares. So by way of reminder, Class A shares are for somebody who has a uh, long time horizon and uh, is uh, understands that front end load. Anyways, uh, a Capco balance fund. This morning's quote shows the shares at a public offering price of 10 at an NAV of 950. And so this is important, remember, because this morning's quote isn't really meaningful because mutual funds, very testable, are always doing business based on their next calculation of NAV. That's called forward pricing. That is very, very testable. The mutual funds are required to price at least once per business day. Uh, at noon today, the order is placed. So that's important because that means the customer is going to get the next calculation. Uh, when all the on-market indexes are up, who cares? If the market remains up and the closing quote, now we care, shows the NAV of the fund to be up 38 cents. If the portfolio of the securities and the fund goes up, so goes the NAV. It goes up too. How much will the customer pay for the 500 shares? Now, these are formulas I highly recommend that you memorize. There are two situations on your exam. One of those scenarios is when given the NAV in the public offering price, calculate the percentage sales charge. You know, when we do this, we better not come up with more than 8.5%. If we do, it can't be an open-end fund. You should definitely know that 8.5% is the max load. The other scenario that shows up is when given the NAV and the percentage sales charge, calculate the public offering price. I highly recommend you memorize both these formulas. So the way we're going to calculate the sales charge is we're going to take the POP minus the NAV, divide by the POP, and that will give us the percentage sales charge. And we're going to apply this here in just a moment. I recommend you memorize it. If you've been with me any length of time, I always remind you that most of the math, 98% of the math on Series 7 is divide. Division. So if you can't decide what to do, divide. And if you can't decide what to divide, take the first number, divide it by the second number. And the other formula for the scenario that comes up is when given the NAV and the percentage sales charge, looks like I have a typo there, uh, calculate the public offering price. The way we do that is NAV, and we divide by 100% minus the sales charge, and that gives us the public offering price. All right, so on this one, we have to give some thought to the setup. And so I think the setup we're going to need here is we're going to have to figure out what is the percentage sales charge so that we can figure out what the customer is going to pay for the 500 shares. So we start there by uh, figuring that out. We take the uh, given information, the NAV and the POP, and we're going to divide that by the POP, and we find out the percentage sales charge here is 5%. So the way we did that is we took 10 minus 950, 50 cents is the sales charge. We divide by the public offering price. You know, NAV plus the sales charge equals the public offering price. Okay, so now it tells us that the uh, NAV is up 38 cents. So now we need to make that note, and that means now the NAV is $9.88. 950 up 38 cents is 9.88. And it says, what are we going to pay for the 500 shares? So now what we have to do is figure out what is the public offering price based on given information of the NAV and the percentage sales charge. As I mentioned, both scenarios are very testable. I like this question because they're asking you to do both. Usually it'd be more for one for one, but here we got to do both. So now we're going to have to recalculate the public offering price. And we do that by taking the new NAV 988. 100% minus the sales charge of 5%. I know if it's helpful, I think of this as, you know, 100 cents or a dollar and 5 cents of my dollar isn't going into the fund. It's, you know, the load. So that leaves me with 95 of that actually going in there. 
Anyways, public offering price is 1040. So now I'm back in business. So now I take the 500 times 1040 to arrive at the answer, which in this question is 5,200. I like this. So quick review. We said there are two scenarios that show up on many of the FINRA exams. The first scenario is when given the NEV and the public offering price to calculate the percentage sales charge. I highly recommend you memorize that formula. The second scenario that shows up on many of the FINRA exams is when given the NEV and the percentage sales charge to calculate the public offering price. I highly recommend you memorize that formula as well. In this question, we had to establish the percentage sales charge. And the way we establish the percentage sales charge is by taking 10 minus 950, 50 cents, the sales charge, dividing by the public offering price. That alone could have been a test question. If a mutual fund has an NAV of 950 and a public offering price of 10, what is the percentage of sales charge? You would respond 5%. That alone could have been a standalone question. It now says that the NAV went up the uh, 38 cents. And so the new NAV is $9.88. This is the next calculation since the customer invested forward pricing. So now we take the 988. We divide by 100% minus the sales charges, which in this case is 5%. Again, it doesn't matter if you use 100% or one, it's the same math. So that can be challenging sometimes. You know, math is like that. There's several different ways to do math as just as long as you come up with the right answer. We do that and we find out the new public offering price based on an NAV of $9.88 and a sales charge of 5% is 1040. That alone could have been a test question. It gives a point blank says a mutual fund has an NAV of uh, $9.88, has a 5% sales load. What is the public offering price? And you might have to come up with that answer. Here, the question is, the customer wants 500 shares. So he pays the pop, 1040. And the answer to this question was 5,200. All right, well, I hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your exam is a cinch. Yard by yard, your exam is hard. Uh, we'll help you with any questions you may have from any vendor, just easier if it's Kaplan, because I can bring it up backstage. Again, this is going to be in more than one playlist because that's how good uh, this question is in terms of uh, relevant content to your exam. See you next time. Bye-bye.